people don't burn out, they lose their purpose. Okay, like, I mean, I'm just going to tell you, any time in life that you've ever not enjoyed what you had, but by the way, five years ago, you prayed for this. Now, if you look up and you're not grateful today, it's not because you're burned out. It's not because you're overworked. It is because you've lost your purpose for just a minute. You've lost your gratefulness. So you've got to know when it's time to press on the gas. Look, I always say this. I never let my foot off the gas because I'm never going to let somebody come after me, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I work with a healthy paranoia that somebody's trying to take it all away from me in the next 24 <laughs> hours. So I'm always like, dude, who is that? Yeah. Right? So I'm just going hard, 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 hard. You give yourself permission to have a good life. But understand that no one is gonna make you change but you. The only way your family's life's gonna change but you. And I wanna say one other thing. I was the one in my family that was gonna be the difference maker, okay? It was gonna be me. I watched years go by of mediocrity and average shit happen in my family. Remember when I told you guys early on about dreaming big? Anytime somebody starts to slow down, it's because their dream was too small, they get close to hitting it and then they, and they back off. The reason why I'm so psycho about training all the time is because when I train and I study and I stay clear-minded and I work out and I take care of myself and I'm doing the right thing, because I know I can be really bad or really good, it, it, it allows me to dust everybody. A lot of you in here, even if you listen to me today, after six months and you start getting to your goal, you'll back off and slow down. Never back off. I'm chasing a dream. You know what my dream is? Is that if I can do it, so can everyone else. So I'm just gonna fucking keep chasing all these people down and we're gonna call our own shots. We're not gonna be crowd pleasers. We're not gonna kiss anybody's ass. And dude, we're gonna create our own fucking life. Mm. And anybody that don't like it, fuck them. Look, I don't hate you. One day you're gonna come around. One day, all of our haters end up being our biggest fans at some point. They all do, man. So that's why I would tell you that if you really have a good heart, two things, have great intentions and have a great heart. Overcomer, this is big. You guys are all overcomers in here. You must tell anybody and everybody that you run into that listen to me, you're made to overcome. Overcoming stuff is what life's all about, okay? You had to go through what you, you had to go through to become who you are right now, okay? You know why I'm interested in you? If you talk to a guy, no one else has ever believed in him. You know why I'm interested in you? Have you ever had somebody believe that you were capable of something really big in life? Have you ever had somebody? Most people haven't. Well, I believe that with you. That's why I'm interested in you, because you're an underdog. Look, I can go hire all these kids with these college graduate, college graduate degrees and all this shit, but you know what I like? I like underdogs. I like people that got something to prove, and I, I can see it in your eyes, I think you got something to prove, okay? And I'm gonna help you win, okay? You don't let me down, I won't let you down. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to build a new life with me. Guys, this is the language. You guys are all preachers. You guys are all motivational speakers. You guys, this is what you do for a living. You speak life into people. That's what makes them work. What did I say? How are we gonna get rich? Human capital. This will separate you from everybody else in the world. And this never is talked about. When's the last time somebody talked to you about security? Probably never. And I don't mean the security of like your family. I mean, where do you find your security at for yourself? Most people's security, most people. I hate it when pe most people, when people say most people because most people are gonna have the same life next year that they had this year. Most people, most people, security is tied into cars, houses, money, jobs. Would you agree? When somebody loses their jobs, what do they do? They break, they can't find themselves. Somebody just stole 200 grand from them. Oh my God, oh my God, my life's over. I can't function. Dude, your security is in money? Dude, you're never gonna make it. By the way, listen to me. They say if you're around five crackheads, you'll become the six, right? I do believe that, because if you're a crackhead, I mean, if you're around crackheads, you're probably gonna be smoking that shit. But if you're around a multi, multi-millionaires, it doesn't mean you're gonna become one. If you're gonna become one, you gotta consciously be aware of what these people are doing, but really, how they're thinking. How they're thinking. This, this mind that they have, dude, it is unbreakable. Dude, they are vicious in their mindset. Vicious. They don't break. I've gone four or five days without sleep. I sleep with my shoes on. 
I'm going to the grave giving it all I got. The body may quit, but the mind doesn't have to. Am I right?